Welcome back to the Tyne and Weir Metro. In part two, I'll be heading south of the Tyne to explore the branch lines to South Hilton via Sunderland and South Shields. I start at the very heart of the network in Monument. So here I am at Monument, and I'm going to hop down to Sunderland and South Hilton. Between Pelor and Sunderland, the Metro shares tracks with the National Rail Network, with Metro trains running alongside mainline trains in an arrangement similar to tram train networks in Karlsruhe and Sheffield. This arrangement began in 2002. This is Felgate. Approaching Sunderland, we pass the site of Monk Weymouth Station, Sunderland's first station which opened as far back as 1848. This is St Peter's. On a different occasion, I was able to have a look at the front of the station from the street, which is now a football museum, though I have yet to go inside. Yeah. 
is Sunderland for Sunderland City Centre. Change here for local and national rail and local bus services. is Park Lane. Change here for local bus services. Between Sunderland and South Hilton, the Metro once again goes solo, running along part of the disused Leamside line, which might be the topic of its own video sometime in the future. Here we see disused railway continuation of the line to South Hilton. This is one of the two branches of the Leamside line, which is a Schrodinger's disused. I mean, this is properly disused, this bit, but most of the line is still legally open, but not actually there. If you follow this all the way, you will eventually get to Darlington, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to walk that far. train to myself. This 
Next station is Felgate. <laughs> Most of the section between Pelor and Bede via Jarrow is single track, with the second track being used by occasional freight train services. Similar arrangements are found on the Metrolink network in Manchester. This arrangement predates the start of track sharing on the Sunderland route in 2002. The work is now taking place to implement track sharing along this part of the South Shields branch, which should ease this major bottleneck and increase the capacity of the network. The project, known as Metro Flow, should be finished in September 2022. This is Time Dog. South Shields, or rather, South Shields Mark III. The original station closed in 1981, replaced with a new station for the Tyne and Weir, which was replaced again in 2019. You can still see the original station just down the line. This building here at the very end of the line looks a bit like an old railway station, but it isn't. The original was demolished in 1990 but the building which took its place was built in a vaguely similar shape. Behind it are some sidings used by the metro. So here I am at the terminus in South Shields, and instead of heading back from here, I'm going to hop on the ferry. Now this is the terminus, but the line does keep going a little bit. You can see one of the previous incarnations of South Shields station just there. The track keeps going even further beyond there is the original South Shields railway station. I don't know if there's anything a bit left of the track does carry on for a bit. It does terminate here though, don't take my word for it. Let's go find the ferry. So there's no bridge across the Tyne here between North Shields and South Shields. But you can take the ferry. Apparently it is included if you have a day ticket on the metro. The metro. So, uh, let's give it a try. A few moments later. Do you know, I'm starting to wonder if the ferries are actually running or not. <laughs> I mean, the timetable says there should be one at eight, which is kind of now. But I've been standing on this platform for the last 10 minutes and there's nobody else here. It's a bit unnerving. A few moments later. So yeah, I was right to be suspicious. It's apparently from Monday to Wednesday, the last ferry is at quarter to eight, which uh, was 15 minutes ago. So there is no more ferry today. I have unfortunately missed the last ferry, which is annoying. I'm not doing that today, but instead I'm gonna go find the Tyne Tunnel.
So here I am at Jarrow. Let's go find the tunnel. So here it is. Once again, I'm like the only person around, which is a bit unnerving. But it is supposed to be open 24 hours a day. So, it's not closed. So half of it has been turned into an incline lift. So it looks like the incline lift isn't working either. And this is just a stationary escalator. County of Durham, County of Northumberland. Slightly outdated boundary marker. Okay, he wants me to take the lift up. That's fine, I didn't want to walk up those stairs anyway. Back in Newcastle Station. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.